Hello everyone. This is a little introduction to logarithms and I hope it helps you as a reference. So what is a logarithm first of all? Logarithm is actually an exponent. It's the exponent that you uh, raise a fixed base to to produce a given number, which is called an argument. So just like we've learned that two to the third power, two times two times two equals eight, um, a logarithmic representation of that would be log base two of eight equals three. Log base two of eight equals three, right? So um, two is the base, just like it is here. Eight is the argument, what, what, it, what the power produces. And then three is the exponent. So this is the structure of a logarithmic equation. Okay, um, go ahead and pause if you want and write down the, um, what you see here in your notes. Now is a good time for you to pause and put this down in your notes. All right, um, one thing to note about logarithms is that it's the inverse function to exponentiation. Um, so on a graph, um, a logarithm, a logarithmic um, equation that's, or a logarithmic function that's the inverse of an exponential function, they'll be inverses of each other, but we'll get to that later. So one of the things that's important to kind of visualize is this concept of restructuring a logarithmic equation to be an exponential equation and vice versa. So log base two of 16 equals four, um, what that would mean in an exponential equation would be four to the power of two equals 16. Um, log base two of one half equals negative one, two to the negative one equals one half, log base five of 625 equals four, five to the fourth is 625. Um, so this is kind of just the visualization of a logarithmic equation compared to an exponential equation. Okay, uh, a couple of special bases that you will see. Uh, mm, some special bases that you're going to see in your career looking at logarithms. So two special bases that we'll be, be dealing with in this class is E. Um, so log base E, we write as natural log, right? So you could say um, natural log um, of say seven, that's basically saying log base E of seven. So you might see natural log sometimes and that just refers to E, okay? Um, another special base is 10, which will just say um, log, it won't really say a base. So if it's, if you see, say log of a hundred, what that means is log base 10 of a hundred. Okay, so this is called the, nat the natural logarithm, we say natural log or natural logarithm. And then base 10, we say common log or common logarithm. Right. So those are just two special bases that you'll see sometimes. So if you don't see, if you see log with no base, it's, it's base 10. Um, if you see natural log or ln, it's base E. Okay. Um, can we have zero or negative arguments? No. Um, your base is positive. The base will always be positive in this class. Uh, you can kind of, you can experiment with what happens when you have negative bases with exponents. It gets kind of interesting. Um, so if you have a positive base, there's nothing you can raise the base to that will get you a negative argument. Even if you say, okay, well, what if I raise it? What if, you know, I raise a base to a negative exponent, that's still gonna be one over two to the third, which is one over eight. So um, your, your arguments will always be uh, positive. You're never gonna have a zero or negative argument. If you do, it's gonna be does not exist, okay? All right, I wanna get to evaluating and then using your graphing calculator to check. So evaluating, when you see the instructions to evaluate, that literally means find a value. Um, the word value is in evaluate. Um, just evaluate means get it down to a single number, okay? Um, so we'll do the first three. The first three are all um, working with all integers. So we'll kind of knock these out. And you can try this. You pause the video at any point 
to try them on your own and then look at the answers later. Um, but log base two of 32, um, one way to think about it is two to the what is 32? What, do, what power, what exponent do you raise two to to get the argument of 32, right? It would be five. Log base nine of 81, nine to the what equals 81. Well, that's two. Log base seven of 340, of 343. What do you raise seven to to get 343? Three. Okay. Okay. Um, these two are looking at when the base is bigger than the argument. The base is, you know, the magnitude of the base is greater than the magnitude of the argument. So what relationship does 81 have to nine? 81 to the what would be nine? Well, we say the square root of 81 equals nine, right? How do we say square root as an exponent? We say one half. Okay, um, and this is similar. Um, log base 125 of five. Okay, so 125 to the what equals five. Um, it's the cube root. So how do we say cube root of 125? Um, we say 125 to the one third. So this is one third. Okay. So just make sure you, you're drawing on that knowledge. Cube root, the way you write cube root, not as a radical, but as an exponent will be one third. Okay, um, let's look at this. So log base three of one third, um, three to the power of what would be one over three. So this is when you deal with negative exponents, right? Negative exponent, just like we kind of talked about here, um, makes this a, a fraction, you would put the power in your denominator. So this is going to be negative one. Um, log base three of 127. Um, so 27 is three cubed. Uh, so we're going to have to use negative exponents again, three to the negative third would be one over three to the third. So this is going to be negative three. Okay. All right. Um, the last little property that just comes in handy is that remembering that anything to the zero power is one. So whenever you see an argument of one, um, you can pretty much bet that the exponent's going to be zero. So think about it this way, 73 to the what equals one, 542 to the what equals one. Um, zero will always work, right? Um, that was a property from algebra two, anything to the zero, anything to the zero power is one. So these answers will just be zero, okay? Um, the last thing I wanna show you is just checking your work in a graphing calculator. So um, there's two ways to do that. You can, uh, if you have a graphing calculator, we can use math, um, math A. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the light in a good place here. So let's take, um, I had log base seven of 343, so let's do that. So we're gonna do math, and then I'm gonna press the up arrow because it's faster. And you see how there's log base? So that's gonna give me the logarithmic expression and I can put in whatever base I want. So let's do seven and 343. So log base seven of 343, press enter, um, and lo and behold, it is three. All right, so math, and then you use the arrows, you can go up or you can go down um, and you pick log base. So log base seven of 343, right? So you can do that for pretty much any logarithmic expression that we have in this class. Um, you know, even if we did, let's do this one, um, log base 73 of one um, gives us zero. Uh, Sometimes when you get a fraction, let's, okay, so let's do this log, sorry, math A. So let's do log base three of one over 27. Okay, so that's negative three. Okay, um, log, let's do, let's do this one, log base 125 of five. So log base 125 of five. Okay, so see how it's 0.333333. If you press, you probably know this. If you press math one, that'll give you the fraction, okay? Okay, 
Now, what if you are not working with the TI-84? So we're gonna learn about this property called change of base probably next soon. Uh, but the way that you can do that uh, is this. You can just say log of um, five divided by log of 125 um, and then math enter enter. So basically if you don't have this function where you can do math A and do log base um, and all you have is log, do the log of the argument divided by the log of the base. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do, let's do this, mm, let's do 81 and nine. So log, of, let's say we're doing log base 81 of nine. We don't have a graphing calculator, but we do have a log capability. Log of nine, log of the argument, divided by log of 81, log of the base. Okay, so that's 0.5, which is still the same answer that you would have gotten. So if you don't have this capability, um, this is always something that you can use. It's called change of base, and we'll learn more about it next week. But for now, it's just a good tool to check your answers. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, contact me if you have any questions. Stay safe. See you later.